And police, along with the Metro Vice and Narcotics Union, they detained 14 people at Memorial Park on Wednesday for a number of issues. People in the area say that it, they hope that it's not turning back into the same atmosphere that the park had 20 years ago. News Live's Ted Scroback joins us now with more details about the people that were detained there, Ted. Yeah, guys, at 4.30 in the afternoon Wednesday, 14 people were detained for alcohol violations and gambling in the park. Of that group of 14, three people were arrested. Officers found a handgun, crack cocaine, prescription drugs, and other paraphernalia. Police say the number of issues at Memorial Park remain low and that this is a one-time problem, but they will continue to patrol the area frequently. I just think it's kind of weird. We want progression, not regression. Lindsay Woods frequents Memorial Park. About three times, four times a week to do a little exercise. He says the park has changed from how it used to be. I grew up here in Colorado Springs and about 15 years ago, this place was completely different. Different now in a good way. You wouldn't see any kids, any families around here at all. A lot of, a lot of different crime and drug activity. Uh, they've cleaned it up. It's, it's, it's very different. Uh, it's, 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 it's a pleasure to see families walking around, kids running around. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Woods was at the park Wednesday afternoon, but said he didn't see anything suspicious. Police and Metro Vice and Narcotics saw otherwise. A tip led to the detainment of 14 people. Three have been arrested after alcohol violations and gambling. A handgun was also recovered, along with crack cocaine, prescription drugs, and paraphernalia. We've been doing those types of operations for you know over the last 20 plus years. Those operations have made a noticeable difference to people like Wyatt Chapman who's often fishing at the lake. I caught nine in about 20 minutes. He hasn't noticed much crime. It's kind of peaceful but I mean I have heard about things over here before but I haven't really seen any of it. Probably because of those routine patrols. Uh, to what it looked like uh, 20, 25 years ago uh, the community, uh, along with the police department and Park and Rec, continuing to send that message that this kind of behavior uh, isn't appropriate. The three people arrested are 37-year-old Christina McConnell, 33-year-old Doran McConnell, and 50-year-old Anthony Tony. Pictures have not been released because police are calling this an ongoing investigation.